let's talk about Ghana. And uh, if you are joining us tonight, we are um, in the studio um, um, with a very knowledgeable chief, Dele Mamudu. He is many things, but he likes to cherish his journalism um, profession and career. Chief has also once been on the ballot in the Nigerian election, the last election before the one that we are talking about now, which Mohamed Buhari won. Chief challenge, good luck, Jonathan. And Buhari, of course, was in that election as well. Um, I'm not sure what percentage he got, but uh, getting on the ballot in Nigeria is not, it's not, uh, it's not an easy thing. Uh, this week, he's been making comments about Ghana's um, politics, and we'll talk to him about that. Uh, he also has very strong views on Donald Trump, uh, and so we'll talk about it. He is a Clinton supporter. Um, we'll talk to him about uh, views on South Africa, um, what has happened to South Africa after Nelson Mandela. Will Cyril Mafosa become president of South Africa? What will that portend for the South African nation? We'll talk, whilst we are talking about Africa, of course, about Robert Mugabe, um, to whom many quotes these days are, are associated when they come to Ghana. Uh, so we'll talk about Chief Bob uh, in Zimbabwe. And then when, when, if we have time, we will look also at the of the Arab Spring, especially the exit of Kenan Gaddafi um, uh, from North Africa, if we have time to do that. Uh, so, Chief, why were you making comments in support of President Mahama uh, at this time when it's a few days to election? Are you an NDC man? <laughs> you see, what I've come to accept is that Africa is a very sensitive continent where everything you do, everything you say, there must be a conspiracy theory. Mm. And you, my friend Paul, mm. do you believe that I will be a member of a political party as a journalist? Everybody is my friend. Yeah. I refer to Nana Akufado as the great Nana mm -hmm. of Africa. Mm. I love President John Dramani Mahama. There is no question about that. Mm. And that's just the nature of my work. But the Look, point you made, people thought that you, you shouldn't, um, let me, Chief, be let able me, to say Let that. me tell you mm -hmm. something. What are you showing me? This is Ovation Magazine. This is Ovation Magazine. Yes. Okay, this, so that's... Uh, this is an interview. And doing an Asuma Banda yeah. in Accra. Yes, and this Ghana was... Ghana Plus exclusive chat with President Kufo. Kufo, five days after he became president. Oh, yes, Alaji's uh, wife's birthday the party was the birthday. first ever... Major. Major public... Uh, thing that he attended. After he had come from Yadim as visit to Togo. You are right, you are very right about that. Yes. Because I covered the Togo visit so as soon as we came back. Man, yeah. For the eight years that he was president, we were neighbors in mm. Airport West. Okay. And we were close. Nobody ever accused me of being MPP. My job... Maybe you didn't make public statements no, about... No, I make statements about Ghana, mm -hmm. not about people. Mm -hmm. The statement I made about Mahama was not about Mahama was about Ghana. I'm the chief promoter mm -hmm. of Ghana. Mm -hmm. I've been doing that since the time of Rollins. Mm -hmm. In fact, the longest interview President Rollins ever granted was to Ovation. It lasted a total of 18 hours, spanning five days. What, how did you, 18 hours? 18 hours, spanning five You were going to him for days. five days and he was but giving you audience. My crew was going to him, I later joined them. In fact, we had so much material that sometimes I would be dozing off and President Zoni would say, Chief, take some coffee, wake up. During because the process? Wanted, yes, it was that intense. He was ready to pour out his heart to vision. You know why? Integrity. He knows that when none aligned, we will come to your house, what you tell us is what we will report verbatim. So coming to President Mahama, I went for an interview at Star FM, mm -hmm. and I was asked, about politics in Ghana, what do I think about Ghana generally? And I say, oh, Ghana is a beautiful country. Ghana is a beautiful country. So anybody who wants to contradict that should show me other parts, especially in West Africa, where you have the level of development that you have today. In the last three, four years, I have seen a lot of developments. I come to Ghana regularly, even though I don't live here like in the past, but I'm here regularly. The airport. Oh my God, compared to what I live behind in Lagos, I'm not ashamed to say that Ghana has invested very wisely in building a beautiful airport. If I, when I came in yesterday, I saw 25 beautiful desks for immigration alone. I thought I was in Washington, D.C. You walk out, you see free trolleys by the brand new conveyor belts. Now you have the long escalators. You don't get to see that in airports in West Africa every day. And all these things 
happened before my very eyes. I walk out of the place into a very expansive motor park. Uh, uh, the, 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 you know, and all the car parks are beautifully laid out. There are about eight of them as at the last count. That is uncommon transformation for me. Then you walk down the street to the uh, airport city. Coming up now, you will think you are in New York. You see, what happens most times is that human beings will never appreciate what they have. I didn't talk about who is corrupt, who is not corrupt. I read all kinds of things in the papers there. But I'm talking about performance. That in terms of performance, I see a lot of activities. I see but flyovers. The, but the airport is, is your key denominator. No, no, it's one of them. It, because that's your first point of contact with the nation. Infrastructure is key. My second admiration for President Mahama is in the area of electricity. Do some, do some, do some, we were shouting. But now we're forgetting that two, three years ago, sometimes we couldn't sleep in our homes because suddenly the, the power crashed in Ghana. But today, I come here two, three days, and my light doesn't go off. I wish we could have, in fact, I use Ghana as a point of example and contact. In Nigeria, every time I want to talk about anything, go and read my article in this day, just two days ago. I mentioned President Mahama's magic here. We are still grappling with the problem of electricity, with our population, with our resources, with our wealth. And then I say that and someone says, oh, Mahama is not doing anything. That's unfortunate. The duty of opposition is to say I can do better than the man who is on the seat. That's okay. I don't have any quarrels with it. But for people to say I have no right to describe what I see at my age, 56, and that would be unfortunate. Some people have tagged me on Twitter. And I said, so if CNN comes to Ghana today, Ghana is supposed to be advertising as a tourist destination. So if CNN comes today to come and do something on tourism in Ghana and describes how President Mahama has done a great job in the area of roads, in the area of water, in electricity, in Medicare. So would you attack CNN for promoting your country? But because I'm a Nigerian, people feel I have no right. But I contributed to ensuring most of the companies, Nigerian companies that came to invest in Ghana today, everywhere, you pass on the roads, you see UBA, you see Zenit Bank, you see Access Bank, you see Guarantee Trust Bank. It never used to be like that when I first came here. In fact, people used to say Nigeria was synonymous with, with uh, drugs, with 419, until we started showing them the Magadenugas, the Aliko Dangotes, the Tony Elumelus, uh, and the rest of them. So today, Ghana and Nigeria were brothers, were sisters, and the union is stronger. So as a journalist, do you think that President Mahama is in the lead in this campaign? No, I don't, I'm not talking about campaign. But what I know is that the man is doing a fantastic job. And we should encourage people. We should not discourage them. My duty, look, every country I've been, if you look at our magazine, what we do is to promote. When Sister Sledge came to Ghana, we put them on the cover to make sure that people can see the beauty of Ghana. That's Steve Mawinyoga. My, my own Steve? Is that yes, my own your own Steve. Oh, Uncle Steve, on, Daddy? On, yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. we had the Miss Malaika and all those photo shoots. If you look here, any opportunity so we see... you're saying that you've been promoting Ghana? We've been promoting Ghana. That's mm. Jerry Rollins. Mm. On the cover. You have... This is Sierra mm -hmm. In 2001, I was probably the first journalist to enter Sierra Leone after the war. You can see the president giving me a seat reserved for visiting presidents. That's how important. I see. I met all the rebel leaders. Was that, who was that? president was that? I, I, uh, Alaji Hamad Jankaba. Yes. Jankaba, yeah. Was my, was my daddy, my very good friend. Mm -hmm. You will see every time I went there, I sat mm -hmm. like a visiting president. I'm sure that, that's probably when the consciousness about running mm -hmm. for. This is the cover of ovation. This is MPP throughout. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Nanako Fuado. Nanako Fuado. 
Who is that? Alaji. Alaji Ali Muhammad. Muhammad. Who is that? Alan the great Alan. Nobody comes. So you are saying, Chief, that you are not partisan? No. All I am saying. But in the heat of a, a political campaign between President Mahama and Nana Kufado, you say something good about President Mahama. So no, I said something good about Ghana. the performance of President Mahama in Ghana. So how would you feel if I came here and I say your president is useless? How would you feel? No, you can't As say a that. No, you can't say that. Ah, but that's what people want us to say. No, no, you can't say that. So I am telling because you. Because whatever you say about the president has an, has an impact on. It's on, not about on, him. You're, you're talking about the nation. You have to respect his office. Yes, absolutely. And apart from respecting his office, mm. I am telling you boldly, without any fear of contradiction, I've traveled extensively in Ghana. Trust me, Ghana is doing well. But you said the, the, the president and his team are not uh, pronouncing their good works and that they should do that. that that's where I He's think... He's a very humble should, man. That's why they had a the concern with you. It, it, it doesn't matter. What business do you have saying that they are not promoting their works? Uh, Which why? works? Have you seen all the works? Have you been around the country? I have. Mm. You, you know it, mm. Paul, mm. that if there is one Nigerian who knows Ghana inside out, I am Th one that, of that, that I know. You okay? And my passion for Ghana has even gotten me into trouble in my where? country, mm. in Nigeria. I was doing an interview on Ben TV one day. People were insulting me. Even last night on Twitter. Why are you always promoting Ghana? Above no. What people don't realize is that I was a student in Nigeria who was also an Nkrumahist. Kwame Nkrumah, I bought so, all his so books. So that's not your first time no. associating with Ghanaian politics? No. Okay, so that explains it. No. So you've been observing and following Ghanaian politics love, for a while. I love but if you like Kwame Nkrumah, then, then you would like the NDC. Oh, well. I love so, fact, so then you have a bias. Chief. One of the best books I ever read was Africa Must Unite. Yes, I've read it too. Osaka I'm Post telling book. you, all the investment that Ghana is looking for in Europe, in Asia, in America, they are there in Lagos and Abuja. Mm. All we need to do is, you see, it is in our interest to promote stability in Ghana. Mm. Mm. I will, anything that will destabilize Ghana, I will never support it. It's in our interest to make sure that whoever is there today, whoever is there tomorrow, will support that person to succeed. It's for Ghanaians to choose who they want. It is for me to say, I saw this good road. Driving to La Palm two, three years ago, that road, if I, a lot of people ran away from La Palm. I was the one who promoted La Palm to Nigeria. The first year, we did our first focus on La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. There are Nigerian visitors came to 18% of the total visitors in the year. Hmm. There was a time they had about 55% occupancy from Nigeria. It's just that we live, if I, some Ghanaians, if Bolare in particular, made me cry about two Decembers ago. I had a show at the, at the State House, and as he was walking in on the red carpet, they were interviewing him live, and Bolare was talking about me. You will not believe I was inside there, I was crying, just watching him on the screen. Say, if Africa is just a place where we don't value people, that what Chibeli has done in Ghana, by now, he should either have a special honor from our government or he should be our honorary ambassador. So I was very touched. I'm surprised you never, never had an, uh, an honor from the government. I don't do things. Mm -hmm. The only place I've been honored Cause you, you've is been Liberia. Here for, you've been here for a very long time. Yes, the only place I've been honored is Liberia, where I didn't even do one percent of our donor. What I did in Liberia was to promote peace. I used to go and visit our soldiers, got Nigerian soldiers. Mm -hmm. We're controlling 10 out of 15 counties in mm. Liberia. Mm -hmm. During and the echo mark. Yes, and I was shocked. One day, I went for an award, Excellence Award in Liberia, and some friends at the UN called me and said, we have some information for you. I said, what is it? They said, on Monday, you are going to be ganned. The ganning ceremony in Liberia is the highest honor they can give anybody. Oh, I see. The visiting president, if President Bush went there at that time, that's all what he will get. I became a chief in Liberia three months before the president of Liberia. Mm. We went back to his tall. I have all the pictures I've sent to you. Mm. I'm the Kiazulu of Grand Cape Mount County of Liberia. So if I'm doing all these things in Ghana, I'm not doing it for money. I'm not doing it for anything. I'm doing it for the love of Africa. That and, is, and you don't want to be criticized for that by, oh, by anybody the can MP. criticize, but. People threatening, we will deal mm. with you, we will de no, that for me was an insult. Oh, I'm sure it's an empty threat. Oh, no, no, whether they can, I they can, or not, they can't do anything. You, you won't do that to CNN. Was that threat on Twitter? On Twitter. I see. On Twitter. But I chose to ignore most of them. 
because maybe they have not been following my trajectory. I am not a cash and carry journalist. Mm. I do my work professionally and I leave the rest to God to bless me. Truth is, I cannot get enough of Ghana. I love Ghana.